He was really upset when I came home with, with an unsatisfactory in my progress report. And he, he yelled at me and it was probably one of the first times where it, it, it like really shook me. And I'm just like, oh my God, I cannot believe my dad is mad at me. And I just had that yeah. that first tugging, horrible wrench of disappointing position. Like, your parent. Oh my God, he's so mad at me. I do not like this at all. And he, I, he kept calling me to come to dinner and I just was not coming. Your mom tried talking to me and she's just like, you know, your dad's not mad. I was like, he hates me, he hates <laughs> me. I'm so stupid and blah, blah, blah. And I just remember him pulling me aside and saying, he's like, I'm sorry I yelled at you. He goes, but I'm going to keep pushing you. And he just, he showed me his hands. He, he worked in factories. He worked with his hands and they were very rough and callous. He said, you know, I work very hard with my hands. I want you to be able to sustain yourself when you get older, but I don't want you working with your hands. In this entire factory that I work in, there are only a handful of men that walk in and out of it with a suit and tie and they work with their minds. He goes, whatever you do, I want you to really push your education and find a career where you're not doing what I'm doing. And that's just a memory that's burned in the back of my mind. And it resonates with me so much today that kind of pushes me forward. So if he were to see what I do today, I'd like to think that he, he would be proud of that. Yeah, he wouldn't yeah. be.